While the rest of the world is panicking about AI, one small Scandinavian country might just quietly become its first utopia. Here's why Denmark could lead us all into AI heaven. Imagine a society where artificial intelligence seamlessly integrates into daily life, enhancing industries, empowering citizens, and driving economic growth. Sounds like science fiction? Well, Denmark is turning that vision into reality, positioning itself its potential AI utopia by 2025. Hi, I'm Elle, a senior data scientist, which basically means I spent a lot of my time thinking about data, AI, and how all of this tech is shaping our world. I've lived in Denmark for five years and then hopped over to the UK for another four and a half, so I've got a front row seat in how these two countries approach innovation. And let me tell you, Denmark is doing something really interesting with AI right now. If you're into this kind of content, deep dives into tech, society, and the fascinating stuff happening at that intersection, go ahead and hit subscribe. It helps a lot, and if you'd like to support the channel even more, check out the description for ways to do that. I've got a few cool links down there, an ebook, maybe a coffee. All right, let's get into it. How Denmark may just become the first AI utopia. Denmark isn't just dabbling in AI, they're going all in. And when I say all in, I mean they're putting serious money where their ambitions are. Back in February 2024, the Danish government announced a bold move. They set aside 62.5 million kroner on a brand new strategic AI initiative designed to run through 2027. That's not just a token investment, it's a statement. The initiative is focused on boosting Denmark's capabilities across research, development, and real-world AI applications, with a strong emphasis on using AI in ways that are ethical, inclusive, and actually useful to everyday people. This is the most important point. But that's just the start. If you zoom out just a little bit, you'll see that Denmark is building an entire ecosystem around AI innovation. Innovation Fund Denmark, one of the key players when it comes to funding research and development in the country, is expecting to channel a whopping 2 billion kroner into innovation in 2025 alone. And yes, AI is right at the heart of it. This money will support everything from university research to private sector partnerships to applied tech projects that could revolutionize industries like healthcare, green energy, and education. What's so smart about Denmark's approach is that they're not treating AI like it's some sort of an isolated geeky tech project, they're weaving it into the fabric of how society works. Whether that's creating better public services, driving economic growth, or helping businesses become more efficient. They see AI not as a threat, because it isn't, but as a tool and a powerful one at that. And honestly, as someone who's lived in Denmark for five years, I can really say that this strategic thinking doesn't surprise me. Denmark's always had a forward-looking mindset when it comes to tech and innovation. They're careful, yes, but also incredibly ambitious when they see a tool that can be used for the public good. Now, let's talk about something seriously cool. Denmark's supercomputer, Gefion. And no, it's not just a glorified gaming rig, I wish. We're talking about one of the most powerful AI supercomputers in the world. Gefion was officially launched in October 2024, and it's already making waves. It's named after the Norse goddess Gefion, because of course it is, this is Denmark we're talking about, and it's a part of a national push to take AI research to a whole new level. So what exactly is this machine supposed to do? In simple terms, crunch massive amounts of data at lightning speed, but in practice, it's a lot more exciting than that. Gefion is designed to turbocharge research and innovation in areas that are not just important for Denmark, but for the entire world. Think healthcare, like using AI to develop personalized treatments faster and spot diseases earlier, or biotechnology, improving how we understand complex biological systems, maybe even speeding up drug development, and yes, even quantum computing, which is basically the wild west of tech right now. The whole idea behind Gefion is to give Danish researchers and companies access to world-class computing power so that they can actually do something with all of their AI ideas floating around. That could mean basically anything, from improving how we manage energy systems, to optimizing traffic in cities to figuring out how to make agriculture more sustainable. It's all about turning high-level AI capabilities into real-world solutions. And let me tell you, from my years living in Denmark, this kind of initiative is exactly in line with how they approach technology. Make it practical, make it ethical, and make it accessible. Gefion is a huge step in that direction. It's not just a symbol of progress, it's a tool that could shape the future of everything from public health to environmental policy. Okay, so we talked about government investments and Denmark's shiny new AI supercomputer, but here's where things get really interesting, the private sector. Because you can build all the infrastructure you want, but if businesses aren't actually using AI, then what is the whole point? Well, in Denmark's case, businesses are not just using AI, they're sprinting ahead with it. In 2024, a solid 28% of Danish companies reported that they were actively using AI in some parts of their operation. 28 
50%. That's the highest rate in the entire EU and nearly double the European average, which hovers around 13.5%. That's not a small lead. That's a landslide. What's driving this adoption? It's a few things, actually. For one, Denmark has a highly educated workforce that's already pretty tech savvy. It's also a country with a strong digital infrastructure, reliable internet, open data systems, a culture that embraces digital innovation. But more than that, Danish companies seem to really get that AI isn't just a buzzword. It's a tool that can improve anything from supply chain efficiency to customer service to product development. Take manufacturing for an example. Companies are using AI to predict maintenance needs before something breaks. In retail, it's about analyzing customer behavior in real time to personalize offers. Even small and medium-sized businesses are getting in on the action. Some are using AI to optimize staffing, automate accounting tasks, or even streamline marketing campaigns. It's not just for the tech giants anymore. It's basically for all of us. And you know what I really admire? Danish businesses are being thoughtful about it. They're not just chasing the new trend. There's a strong emphasis on making AI ethical and transparent, something that's super important in a world where algorithms can shape so many aspects of our lives. There's a real sense of responsibility tied into the innovation, which honestly, classic Denmark, right? So yeah, Denmark isn't just dreaming about an AI-powered future. It's already living it, one smart algorithm at a time. Now, Denmark knows that building fancy tech is only half the game. You've also got to make sure people actually know how to use it. Enter the AI Skills Pact, launched in December 2024, basically a few months ago. Think of it as Denmark's natural training montage, Rocky style, but for machine learning and data literacy. The goal is essentially to boost AI skills for 1 million days by 2028. That's roughly one in six people in the entire country. Country. If that sounds ambitious, it is. But it's also very Denmark, quietly bold and meticulously planned. And we're not just talking about tossing people a few YouTube tutorials and calling it a day. This is a full-blown, coordinated effort involving schools, universities, businesses, unions, you name it. Whether you're a high school student, a mid-career professional, or someone who's never coded a day in your life, the idea is to make AI feel less like a mysterious black box and more like a useful everyday tool, because it is. It's all a part of making sure no one gets left behind as the tech keeps accelerating, and honestly, it is seriously inspiring. But Denmark isn't just throwing AI into the mix and hoping for the best. They're also thinking hard about the ethics of it all. In June 2024, most of the Danish parliament got on the same page, a minor miracle in any democracy, basically, and agreed on new regulations around deepfake content. You know those creepy, real fake videos you've probably seen online? Denmark is making sure that they're not used to mess with elections, spread misinformation, or otherwise create any kind of chaos. It's part of a bigger trend in the country, making sure AI works for the people, not against them. Whether it's transparency in how algorithms make decisions or clear accountability when something goes wrong, Denmark's putting rules in place before things spiral out of control. It's the kind of grown-up, sensible approach that makes you wish more countries followed suit. One thing I absolutely loved during my time doing research in Denmark was the sheer scientific enthusiasm. The kind where coffee-fueled PhD students, professors, and industry folk could talk for hours about neural networks and data ethics. AI-related research isn't just taken seriously in Denmark is treated like a national mission, which it is. And that energy is seriously contagious. So it's no surprise that Denmark has become a bit of a magnet for international AI minds. The country now hosts major conferences like the AI Compute Summit coming up now in May 2025 and the Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning Conference in Copenhagen. These aren't just techie echo chambers. They're vibrant, collaborative spaces where people from all over the world come together to exchange ideas, debate ethical frameworks, and demo the latest breakthroughs. Denmark's not just riding the AI wave. It is steering the ship. And just when you thought Denmark couldn't get any more futuristic, along comes the synthetic party. You heard that right. In 2022, Denmark introduced the world to a political party led by an AI chatbot. Say hello to Leader Lars, your friendly, code-based candidate. No scandals, no campaign gaffes, just data-driven policy suggestions and a weirdly calm demeanor, which is honestly what I want in a politician. It's not just some sci-fi prank. The whole idea is to essentially represent the voices of non-voters, people who've been left out or disillusioned with traditional politics, and to ask the big questions. What happens when technology doesn't just influence democracy, but actually participates in it? It's bold, a little bizarre, completely in line with Denmark's willingness to experiment thoughtfully with AI. Honestly, only in Denmark could an AI become part of the political conversation and not immediately start a moral panic. So yeah, when you look at everything together, Denmark's really doing something special. From big government investments and a literal AI supercomputer to companies going all in and everyday people getting upskilled, it's not just talk, it is serious action. Add in the thoughtful regulation, the international collaboration, and even a chatbot dabbling in politics, 
and you've got a country that may just pull off being the world's first AI utopia. If you enjoy this little journey into Denmark's AI scene and want to keep up with how tech is reshaping our world, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's free and it really helps the channel grow. And if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, whether it's buying me a coffee or getting an ebook, you'll find more info in the description below. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.